Coming from more cerebral and artistic stock, Jeff Provenzano might have been just as at home and successful in business or a Soho art gallery. With a fitness-oriented father and an artist mother, the choice to enroll in art school had seemed quite natural. But Jeff was a great example of traits skipping a generation as shades of his much more extreme motorcycle racing grandfather continued to peek through from an early age. With like-minded friends during formative years, skydiving had been part of the plan long before his age would allow. The iconic Point Break film that was the catalyst for so many a modern jumper planted a seed in the group that finally saw fruit as soon as they hit 18 and put into motion a series of events that would soon give birth to the man who would become Jeffro, a name synonymous with all things Premier Canopy Pilot. Skydiving had Provenzano by the balls from Jump 1, and he knew almost instinctively that jumping was most certainly part of the journey. As a semi-sponsored skateboarder, his outlet for physical creativity was already there, and he still held on to romantic daydreams of the struggling New York City artist, but the addition of skydiving had changed something. Almost before he knew it, he would decided to take a year off from his artistic journey and move to Skydive Arizona to see what the growing sport of skydiving had to offer. Having made that choice, he may not have been making much money, but he was jumping cheap, living the lifestyle, and fulfilling his driving need to be in the air. Pack, jump, pack more, onto tandem camera flyer when the light bulb hit. Jeff Provenzano realized the one thing he had on every single skydive that was all his own flying his canopy. Ladies and gentlemen, let us formally introduce the birth of Jeffro. Humble and gracious, he's quick to lay much of his creativity at the feet of others. Provenzano most certainly takes an artistic approach to skydiving, drawing inspiration from a wide range of extreme sports, but makes sure to put his own special twist to his eye-catching and sometimes awe-inspiring projects that range from incredible lines flown past hard rock signs and high-rises to carving through cranberry ponds and landing on the back of jet skis. Looking back at the beginnings of his now epic career, he's the first to laugh recounting how he initially turned down sponsorship from Red Bull. Yet not only does he take great pride in his accomplishments with the world-renowned brand, but greatly appreciates their commitment to his physical well-being as he works hard to maintain himself to perform at the incredible level the Red Bull Air Force has become world famous for. With no real signs of slowing down and still enjoying his place at the cutting edge of canopy piloting, Jeffro continues to train to push his talents to the limit. But don't get it twisted, he has no illusions that his time at this level is limited. As he works hard to keep his skills sharp, he's acutely aware that his creativity gives him an edge that will undoubtedly last longer than his body will. But he has an incredibly positive outlook not only on what he's accomplished, but what he still has to offer. When it comes to outstanding athletes and ambassadors in our sport, the lunatic fringe can't think of a better person to point to with a proper fuck yeah attitude and an eye on both his roots and the future of our ever-evolving sport.